What is that? Oh my god, you guys see that light? What is it? So we're down in Monroe, Monorello, Monroe, Monroe, Louisiana. This is the blessing of the fleet. Every year when the shrimp boats go out, they bless the fleet. Uh, you know, it's like a tradition, you know, kind of thing like that. So that is uh, what this is all about. We just left the festival here in Monero, Monrero. Where are we? Marrero. Um, it was it was quite it was something else. I'll tell you that. So we're gonna head back to the fishing camp and probably go to bed. We just got back to the fishing camp. We checked out the uh, festival. Holy crap! Is that a deer? Huh. Just kidding. So we checked out the festival in town. You know, it was, it was pretty exciting for a Cajun small town festival. Lots of live music, drinking, cops everywhere. Um, you know, it was all right, but we're gonna turn in for the night. We gotta wake up at 4 a.m. Uh, and get out and go fishing. So, ugh, should be fun. Hello. All right, so it's day six of our fishing trip. We're just headed out on the bayou. We're gonna go back under the bridge. Yesterday we went that way because we had to go get gas, and this time we're gonna go this way. And it's probably about 15 minute shorter ride, I would say. Pretty excited to catch some fish today. Well, we've been out here for about five minutes and I've already managed to break off my lure. So that was cool. First one to do that today. Been doing that for years. Putting it to work. Yeah, pretty good at it. What can I say? All right, I finally caught a big one. Biggest one we caught so far. Yeah, maybe. Too close, man. How's it going? We'll just say it is. For you know, all intents and purposes. <laughs> uh, there's an alligator. Sweet. All right, so far it's been a little slow, but I have caught the biggest fish. So I caught the two biggest fish. Actually, I can't really complain. But uh, right now we're fishing at some power lines. A little structure here, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Does that boat? Those power poles are pretty popular out here, huh? They got really, really cool anchors for their boats out here. They're actually like, they're not an anchor at all, but they're this system. It's just this pole that goes down in the water right there. And it's got a hydraulic jet on it and it sucks in water and dirt at the bottom and it'll hold you there. It's pretty cool. I've never seen it before. It's an interesting little machine. So these are the power poles when they're up. Then they go down into the water and anchor us. Nobody's driving the boat. We're all screwed. I don't even know where we are, but uh, fishing's a little bit slow today, a lot slower than it was yesterday. We're still catching a few. I caught the big one. I think I might have already mentioned that once or twice, but uh, it was the biggest. And uh, yeah, seen a few alligators today. Pretty cool. There's about 15 boats out here when we got here and they all cleared out. So, and we started catching a few fish. Fan boat tour. Huge fish and fly just landed on my foot. We just got done fishing. We're gonna head into uh, the fish camp and eat some lunch. It's pretty good. My dad absolutely destroyed it. He caught like six fish in about 10 minutes, 20 minutes. It's pretty cool. I think we're all a little tired. Gotta go get some food, take a nap, then head out. So we just got back to land. It actually started raining on the way back, so we kind of got a little wet. Uh, but it's so hot out that it was actually kind of nice, about 90 degrees, 80% humidity, so it's just sweat rolling off you. But uh, the rain was kind of nice. It cooled us off just a little bit. Now we're gonna go get some southern lunch. Should be pretty awesome. Then we're gonna hit the road. Oh man, just got done eating, and I don't know if it's like a southern Cajun thing, but they have five course meals here. You get an appetizer, you get a salad, you get 
your main plate, you get a side, like a biscuits, and then you get dessert, which is crazy. And then you get a bowl of gumbo and jambalaya. It's just so much food. Like, don't tell anybody, but I had to throw a bunch of it away because I just couldn't eat it. And I feel really bad because it was so good. But it was like 5,000 calorie meals, which I guess if you're working out in the swamp all day, you probably need something like that, you know, chasing alligators. I am so sweaty and I smell like fish, so I need a shower. I've been trying to upload my daily vlog, but the internet here is a really weak signal, so I haven't been able to actually get it uploaded. I'm gonna try one more time before we go. Check out this sweet shirt. Guns don't kill people. Chuck Norris kills people. How do you pronounce now. the name of that road? That is crazy. All right, so we are leaving New Orleans, the wonderful, Crescent. just a beautiful place, New Orleans. Lots of very friendly, nice people. But it's not a bad place. Somebody, something everybody should see. I heard Mardi Gras is just crazy. Where's Bourbon Street from here? It's on the other side of the Superdome. So it's like kind of downtown-ish? Sweet. Yeah, kind of. How about this building there? Building is just all rusted out. It's in the French, French Quarter. French Quarter. People on the bayou talk a little funny. And it's funny because they can't even understand what the other people are saying they're there. They'd be like, what? And then the guy will say it again. They'd be like, huh? And they have to say it like three times. I thought that was a little interesting that it wasn't just us. They don't say ER. No. Say, uh. What? They don't say ER. They say ah. Uh. Uh, like for the hospital? Like instead of saying chipper, we'd say chippa. Insurance. <laughs> there is no insurance down here. It's insurance. Insurance. <laughs> Ay ay ay. Oh, we've been sitting in traffic for like, I don't know, probably about 30 minutes so far, and I don't think we're even close to getting out of it. But there's all this road construction, and there's like three or four accidents, which is just silly. So, I'll probably be sitting in traffic for a while. Hmm, I wonder if the woman driving that car, which I'm guaranteeing oh, it's almost a woman, oh, rear ended somebody. Oh, 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 it's a woman. Holy crap, triple rear end. <laughs> All right, so that's like the fourth accident in just under like two miles, which is just ridiculous. And it looks like there might be something up there on that side of the street. And we haven't even seen the fire truck that passed us yet. Or the ambulance. And we are back on the open road. The famous Lake Pontchartrain. Pontchartrain, whatever you want to call it, but it's huge. Is it salt water or fresh water? The both? Oh yeah, we already talked about this lake. This is a lake where the levees failed. Brackish. Brackish. One of the biggest flags I have ever seen. Car dealership. We're back. We're going to the Bar Rouge A, which is the casino here in Biloxi. It's gonna be pretty awesome. It's all We're at the Bo Ra Garage. I'll let you know how we do. All right, so we just got out of the casino. Won another 300 bucks. Pretty sweet. I think I about paid for my whole trip down here, even plus some, because I didn't really spend that much money. So, all in all, a great trip to Biloxi, Mississippi. I will be back. No shirt, no shoes? Who cares? <laughs> that guy just totally went to the gas station without her shoes and shirt on. And totally got service. So I went in to check to see if there was a sign that said no shirt, no shoes, no service, and it wasn't. So, that guy's gravy. <sighs> I'm so tired. Castles and stuff right here. We're back at Winsel's Oyster House. I'm not gonna eat any oysters this time. Here we are in Pensacola, Florida. That's right, uh, my brother's flying out of Pensacola, Florida. Uh, we're, me and my dad are flying out of Mobile, so we drove all the way from Louisiana to the poker place in Biloxi, then we drove to Mobile and then to Pensacola. We're gonna drop Tom in the morning about four or five in the morning, and then we're gonna go fly out of Mobile and then to Houston and then to California to see Nikki. I'm so excited! Good night.